The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. There we go. As you can see, we have uh, the conversion of the pyruvate into acetylcholines MA. This is sometimes referred to as the link reaction because it links glycolysis to the Krebs cycle. Now, as I said in step one, we have um, the pyruvate actually being decarboxylated. So that decarboxylation will actually eliminate or remove this portion of the pyruvate molecule and it will be removed or eliminated as a molecule of carbon dioxide. So that's our first step right there. So in step one, the pyruvate is converted or decarboxylated, which releases a molecule of carbon dioxide. Now, in the second step, the remaining two carbon fragments, so I'm talking about this two carbon fragment right here after the decarboxylation reaction, that two carbon fragment is then oxidized, and that oxidation actually reduce, uh, reduces uh, NAD+, plus, which is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, to its reduced form, which is NADH. Now, that oxidation or the product or the resultant fragment after that oxidation has taken place is then in the third step attached to coenzyme A. So in the third step, it is then attached to coenzyme A right here. And coenzyme A is actually, or that attachment is actually what produces our final product, which is acetyl coenzyme A. So right off the bat, as you can see, we have three main things happening. First, we have a decarboxylation. I'm just going to write that in black ink so you can see very clearly. At first, we have what is a decarboxylation reaction. And in the second step, we have an oxidation. And in the third and final step, we have an attachment of the remaining fragment uh, after oxidation to coenzyme A. And that's actually what produces our acetyl coenzyme A. And remember, that process actually happens inside the mitochondria. Okay, so we're going to move on right now, and we're actually going to delve into the key steps of the processes or the individual steps of the citric acid cycle, because once acetylcholine has been formed, we're good to go. We can get started with the citric acid cycle.